What is up everybody? Thanks for checking out today's video. So today was supposed to be three miles easy with a uh, strength session afterwards. After yesterday's run and then my fast road run I did on Friday and then some more road miles on Saturday, my legs just feel a little tired. And being that I've got the Barkley Fall Classic coming up in like, I think 11 days, I wanted to rest my legs a little bit, so I chose not to do the strength session, and I just did three easy miles on the treadmill. You can take a look at that right up here. The easy run on the treadmill felt pretty good. Um, you know, legs didn't I don't really have any soreness to them. They're just tired. They felt tired, fatigued, I guess. So resting them. Uh, this week's going to be pretty much all easy stuff, going down in miles as I get in my really into my taper for uh, for BFC. So couple of notes about yesterday's run, uh, my training run for the No Business 100. Just really cool to see so many different people commenting on the video that they are running it as well. You know, it's their first hundred or maybe their second hundred. So it's going to be awesome to see some other folks out there and, you know, meet people from the channel and uh, people I haven't ever met before and just race with other people again. I haven't, haven't raced with people in, gosh, since February. It's been a long since this race, actually. Yeah, since this race, the LC Enduro. Uh, with, or I got this. So another thing from yesterday is I'm pretty sure I got some poison ivy. My legs are uh, itching a good bit. I've got some red bumps on them, you know, in typical places. And it was pretty overgrown in a couple of spots on that trail yesterday. Uh, a lot of low uh, foliage undergrowth, kind of running right through it. And normally, you know, I sweat so much that I hardly, I, I never get poison ivy. I was sweating a good bit yesterday, but for some reason I still, I'm pretty sure it's poison ivy, so I'm going to have to put some calamine lotion on those uh, bumps and hopefully dry it out because it is just pretty good. So Another cool thing is uh, I got asked to be on the Social Run podcast, so tonight we're going to be recording that. I'll find out when it's going to publish and go live so that you guys can check it out and I'll share it with everybody. Uh, but it should be a good time. It's a pretty cool podcast. He's got some great runners he's had on that sh that uh, podcast before. It's pretty neat. I'll put a link in the description to the podcast so you can check out some of the other runners he's interviewed as well. But it's pretty cool. Pretty cool in premise. So looking forward to it. It's going to be a fun time. Other than that, you know, we're just kind of starting to prepare for my wife's race this weekend. You know, she's getting some items at the store that she needs and uh, different nutrition things. We're going to start getting that ready and packing and excited. Can't wait to go and support her. I'm going to be sure to film it and uh, hopefully I put together a good video of her uh, experience to at the race. So be on the lookout for that next week sometime. Uh, hopefully I'll get that published pretty quickly. So anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for checking this out. I really do appreciate it. Uh, it's awesome to see the engagement with the channel and I just appreciate you guys so much. So uh, if you have not already, just go ahead and give a thumbs up to the video. I'd appreciate that and click that subscribe button. That will continue to help my channel grow and you'll also see more videos like this and my trail running videos like I posted yesterday or from you know Thunderhead Mountain or Frozen Head and also gear reviews like shoes and upcoming videos in the pipeline that'll be in the near and distant future. You know, I'm going to do a review on the Coros Apex, a full review, some more shoes, uh, just all sorts of different gear. So be on the lookout for that stuff. Anyway, thank you guys so much. I appreciate it and I will see you tomorrow.